Okay, I've been asked this um, question on one of the Course in Miracles lessons, uh, which mentions uh, God is God is my vision. Yes, God has given me vision. What's what's that? What does that mean, vision? Well, the ego talk. I mean, the ego well, it does talk about. The ego uses ego perception. So when I see through the ego, I perceive. I, that's perception. And God's is uh, when there's the absence of ego, that's God's vision. So what does that mean? Because the, uh, there is the belief that I see through the eyes of the body. Uh, however, um, you know, I won't go into out-of-body experiences where, or dreams where vision seems to be possible. That's, part, that's also part of the dream. But anyway, so God's vision denotes the absence of ego. So the ego, when one sees through the ego, one is, you know, you could say one is seeing through the past, one is seeing through perception, filters, judgments, uh, associations, everything. So it's like, uh, to the extent that the ego is, in, is active in the moment and all the unconscious and conscious beliefs are there, we'd call that perception or ego perception. So one doesn't see without any ego there or there is no seeing without ego, because then I mean, there is no person without ego. But so it's like you know, the, when I've been really in the ego, it's like I, I perceive a very dark world, very identified with the body, with all kinds of uh, limiting thoughts running through the consciousness. So it's a dark world, quite literally. And when there's no ego or nearly total absence of ego, then it's like bliss and light and oneness. Uh, and timelessness. So that's vision. That would be God's vision, or close enough to God's vision, or an aspect of God's vision, uh, because there is witnessing without all the filtering of the ego. So I think you'll see in the course it will talk about perception, and then it will talk about God's vision. So God's vision is the absence of uh, ego. Uh, filtering. So the ego creates, so if, I, if I see through the ego's eyes, then there is the perception that I'm a body looking through these physical eyes in a certain location. Uh, and I'm probably seeing the past, seeing filters, seeing judgments, all kinds of things. So that's perception. So God, God gives vision. So vision is like the absence of any of the ego filtering. So, uh, really, we say, if I'm an ego, I perceive. I perceive you to be this way, I perceive you to be that way. And uh, if, if, I'm in, uh, if I'm in vision, then there's no ego perception interfering. So, actually, vision is not in any way located somewhere. It's, not, it's locationless and timeless um, and bodiless. And is, you could say, closer to a timeless flow of witnessing would be, and uh, not, not tied to a particular location as such. <clears throat>